Welcome back, folks. So, uh, we are back in Transport Fever 2, and I made a tiny little mistake. Um, I accidentally recorded everything, or, or I, I ex accidentally deleted everything that I had recorded uh, on Saturday. So that was uh, six videos that I deleted, not all of them. Um, Transport Fever 2, there were some uh, Evil Genius 2, there were some Factorio videos, there were some, uh, some Cepheus Protocol videos, and by my brain fart, I deleted all of it without having edited it. That was pretty stupid. Uh, but it happened, and it is what it is. So I'm just going to tell you what I did in the one episode of Transport Fever 2 that I accidentally deleted. Well, first of all, I set up a cargo hub up here. So we have a nice cargo station here with eight tracks. We have a cargo airfield here. And then I hooked up train lines from Grand Rapids all the way to Sioux Falls, to Mobile, and to Ann Arbor. And I decided that I put down a Grand Rapids oil refinery here. So we're going to delete this oil refinery up here because I, I don't want to allow me to put in new uh, industries you might say I'll replace industries that are not in a place where I want them to be and I can afford that now because we have quite a bit of money uh, it costs 20 million to put in the, um, the oil refinery down here uh, but that's fine and we now have these cargo tracks going all the way up here now the challenge that we have is that we need this uh, cargo hub to come into all of these lines plus we need it to kind of come around and go into the cargo lines which are on this side so yeah so we need to come down here up and over around and in so that we can get into Ann Arbor as well because if we can't get into Ann Arbor then uh, the, the, nothing is going to arrive there so yeah that is what it is that is what it is so today we are going to continue to hook up Charlotte and probably El Monte with the um, the cargo line and we're going to try and hook up uh, our Ann Arbor South here which we're gonna rename to Ann Arbor uh, cargo terminal and over here we'll call it Ann Arbor uh, cargo airport so yeah that that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do so let's let's get started shall we let's get started uh do we start with trying to fix this so we can actually get into arbor and arbor and we need to kind of get this going into the cargo lines on the other side anyway too i think Let's start with something easy so that we just get into the groove and this might actually not be that easy anyway. Um, because I of course want this to go under the city as well. So we want it to go down like that. I do want it to come down there, but 
Whoa. I don't like it when the game does that. Too much slope. But I don't want you to hook up to the other one. I just want you to come, come down like this. That seems fine. And we'll get you to line up. And then we'll start coming back up. Something like that. Why can't I? Right, fine. Let's get this up and lined up with that. And then we can probably do something like that. Okay. And we are now parallel with the other tracks. Beautiful. We, of course, need to kind of, we need to upgrade all the passenger tracks as well to high speed, because we, we will want high speed tracks, of course. And this is not always easy, getting these to, to line up. For some reason, when there's four tracks, they, they don't necessarily want to do the whole parallel thing automatically. Which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It'll be fine. So we kind of do need to do it in these small sections sometimes. And then once in a while you'll get a huge section where you can just pull it along and everything is fine. See, it'll go to there. can probably pull it along for a bit. Yeah, see? It's a little bit weird. A little bit weird. But, uh, it'll work. Also, I got a, um, microphone boom for my microphone, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better now. I had a, uh, well, let's, let's call it a complaint that my sound uh, wasn't that great. And coincidentally, my uh, headset microphone, which I was using, uh, kind of gave out. Uh, but I did have the uh, microphone that I'm using now, the NT-US, uh, Røde, or Røde, NT-USB uh, microphone, but I didn't have a boom arm for it. So I got a boom arm for it, and hopefully this is better. So let me know if you think it's better. All right, let's hook up El Monte as well. Uh, no. What the frick? Uh, let's not do that, shall we? I want you to follow the other one. So let's come in there. Might have to take out that room for a little bit. Yeah. Not so. Do that. And we'll try to get into a point where we are running parallel. And that road needs to go as well. That's okay though. And 
All right. And we'll run parallel here. How far can we go? At least that far. So there. Oh, there's a depot that needs to go. Collision here. Okay. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Alright, let's put it in there. Okay. And let's put the cross in. Did I put the cross in here? No. Nope. Let's do that. Like so. Here we have the cross, right? Yep. And down here we do not. So let's get one. Perfect. All right, so that's Charlotte and El Monte hooked up. Now El Monte is going to be a little bit weird because we're going to have to come out this way and go over and down to Santa Rosa. So, yeah. But let's get some uh, signals in on what we have built already. We want auto six. We want one way and we'll do like that there we go auto sigs all the way to here so we'll put an auto sig in there and we'll put auto six in there and how far do they go the last one is there but i think i want one up here as well Okay, so that's that. Now, for getting these tracks hooked in. And it'll obviously be the innermost ones. The outermost ones uh, will be for unloading products that are coming in from different directions. But what we are actually building right now is for the, the fuel, right? And what we're going to do is we, we have these three oil wells or these two oil wells here. And they will load on to a station, I suppose, around here. So we need trucks going up there. Then this will be deleted. The trains will run all the way down here full of uh, crude refine it, take it all the way back here to this, the fuel refinery, and turn it into fuel, and then they will take it back to the Ann Arbor cargo terminal, and we'll have a line that just runs like that. So yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. So let's try and get these rails in. This is going to be tricky. Now, we do, of course, need to Let's 
try and do 200. There we go. So we need to come over and then in. Or under. Over or under. Both will work. So there. Okay, now bridge. Mm. Obviously, it needs to be this one. Not right there, though. the bridge there that seems decent to me goes up a bit right there. Let's try and do 150 if we can. Like that. And then we'll come down. Do 150. And then we need to come into here. Let's see, can we? Doesn't seem like it. Let's try and come out here. That'll slow us down, but there's nothing we can do about that. So there. So that's that. And then we have a different problem down here. Let's get the cross in. Good measure. There we go. And here, well, we can go with the same line for a bit. And then one of them needs to break off and the other one needs to come across on its own bridge and get into here, I think. Well, basically, we need two lines from here, right? So, let's try it. 
and here we will break off as well and do like that alrighty and this one is the trickier of the two don't know how great this is going to be. Well, let's make the bridge. It's going to be... Something like that. And then you come into there. And you run alongside. And then come around, and this is going to be a very slow corner. Very, very slow corner. Mm. Let's do like that. Because we basically need to get in before here. But we're going to have to slow down some. Let's try, let's try 125. And then we need, we need to hook up to this line. So there. That's it. It's done. Maybe not the prettiest, but... And then this one needs to come over here. That's not what I want. I don't want it to be that long. So let's try... What? Let's just make it out here. That should be fine, I think. Right. And then you. you don't want it to be that long. So I want you to come down. down and then hook into there that's better there we go and then you actually need to turn into a bridge again so so you want the bridge, something like that. And then you need to come back into here. And that obviously needs to go down. And then well you, you won't. That's fine. Something like that. And um, 
Now, hopefully, we can grab this. And come into there. No. All right, let's pull this back a bit. Not doable. Why am I getting this collision thing? Okay, so you can come out to there. And can get we can we get another one? Like that. And then you come into here. And you come into there. Okay. So that's all hooked up. Then we need some signals. Definitely auto signal. And we need there. We need there. We need up here. Did you not put down a signal on that side of the tracks? Yes, you did. Good. Okay. And then we need a signal here and here. And then we need a signal here and here. And then we need a signal here and here. Okay. So this is all signaled up now. All right. So that means that we can kill one of these oil lines, the one that, uh, oh, we don't have an oil line coming from down here, but we definitely need one. And I kind of want it to be a bridge going over the tracks. you into there and then let me just upgrade that Now, what's the speed limit on these, respectively? No. Down 
over here. And there. All right, so we have a road there. Suppose we do need a road across here as well. No, not really. Not really. So I think in the next one we'll tear this out. We will change this uh, truck route to be coming over from this oil well and going into a train station that's attached to this one and then we need that train station to somehow connect up to our cargo tracks but that's a problem for the next episode guys so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.